just text me on the group rather than separately because I have a habit of sending it to the people that text me on the group and then I'd leave one or two out that text me privately. So that's why I want it on the group, okay? So lying onto your sides, please. Resting up onto the elbow to begin, all right? And I want you to bend your knees and ankles are stacked, knees are stacked, and your hips are stacked, okay? I want a bit of strength through the elbow, so pushing into the mat and lengthening that lower side, the one nearest the mat, okay? So don't let yourself sink down. Really pushing up through the shoulder, okay? From here, guys, I want you just to open up the top leg and then rest your hand on the knee. And I want you to inhale as you reach over, keeping that leg open, reaching over, and then exhale as you bring your hand back to the knee and then relax the leg down. Inhale to open, reaching. Exhale to come down and relax the leg. Keeping the hips forward, inhale to lift and reach. And then exhale, coming down and down. Okay, we're going for four more. Inhale, reaching. Exhale, come down. And three. Again, not letting that top hip come backwards. You want to keep the hips facing forwards and in line with each other, okay? Reaching and again, keeping the strength through that lower arm and not letting that lower waist sink down towards the floor. We want to keep the sides active, okay? From here, guys, extending that right our top leg, okay? And again, strong through the lower waist. From here, we're going to lift and lower just for 10, 9. You want to place your hand on your hip if you can, okay? Again, nice and long through the spine. You want to think strong through that lower waist, okay? And just slow and controlled movements and hold. Bring that leg back down and lower the body down to the mat. I want to bring your lower hand out or your arm out in front of you, kind of in line with that shoulder. And then resting your upper hand on top. Your hands should meet in a prayer like position. If you need to place something on your head, grab a pillow really quickly, if you, if you do. But uh, I wouldn't overly worry about it. But if you suffer with your neck, place something on your head. From here, keeping the knees stacked. You're going to inhale. As you inhale, keep the hips forward in line with each other. Reach that arm to the back of the room, reaching, reaching, reaching. And then exhale, coming all the way back. Do some spinal rotations, okay, warm up the spine. Inhale, keeping the hips stacked, reaching. We're just going for two breaths in, and then exhale, coming back. We have a nice long class, and I just want to kind of get to the, the nitty gritty, the heart bits. Inhale, reaching and warming up pretty quick. The bodies are quite warm, I'd say, anyway, from the heat outside, so we don't need to do too much. Inhale and reaching back, and exhale. Over two more, inhale to reach and exhale. And one more, inhale, reaching and exhale, coming back. Very good. From there, coming back onto your elbow. All right. And now I want you to lift that top leg. And I want you to bring your knee in line with your hip, okay? And we're going to go for circles forward for, for 10, 9, 8. Seven. And just remember about keeping that side strong, okay? And the hips are stacked. And you're not feeding into that lower back. Two and one and staying. And then we're going backwards for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, okay. Lower yourself down, straighten the top leg and bring the lower arm slightly in front of your lower shoulder, place the palm down, okay. Resting the head down here. We're gonna to inhale to stay and on the exhale, you're gonna lift the top leg and then reaching up towards your knee. Lower down as you breathe in and exhale to lift. Lower down as you come in to the floor. Exhale to go away from the floor. Okay, good. And really slow, controlled movement. You shouldn't be pushing too hard into the floor. Let the abs do the work to lift you up, okay? Well done. Three more. And try and aim to get to the knee if possible. So if that means pushing a little bit towards the end, the last one, that's okie dokie to do so, okay? From there, guys, I'm gonna get you to come up slowly, and then we'll go on to your other side, please. Okay, and we're going to start on our elbow as we did on the other side. Stack the knees, stack the ankles, okay? We're going to 
Inhale to open the top leg away from each other. Just look at your hips and make sure that they're level before we begin, okay? We're gonna inhale, reaching up over. Exhale as you bring that arm down and lower that leg down. Inhale to reach up over. Exhale to come down and lower the leg. Good, inhale to reach. Exhale, come down. Well done, really breathing into those ribs as you reach over. Exhale, keeping that shoulder pushing down to the bottom one, lifting that side and staying strong through the lower abdominals, good, obliques. And two, it's a really nice one, and one, and you're still activating the glutes at the same time, which is really, really good. From here, guys, I want you to come down to your mat. We're going to do spinal rotations. So bring the hands out in front, rest your head down. Hips are stacked as they were earlier. We're going to inhale as you rotate back, looking, following your hand, and then exhale to come all the way forward. Inhale as you rotate back, looking at your hand, follow your hand as far as you can go, and exhale to come back. Your top hip will dictate how far you go, guys. So once that top hip starts to move, that's where you stop, okay? If your hips are staying forward, you're on the right track. So keeping that top hip forward in line with your other hip, okay? Breathing in as you reach back, breathe into those lungs as they expand, and then exhale as they come closer together, expanding the air out. Good, and one more, reaching, and then coming all the way back down. Good stuff. Coming back onto the elbow, we're gonna go for circles, so stacking the knees. We're gonna lift the top leg and slightly bring it back. Bring your knee slightly in, hip, in line with your hips, sorry. We're gonna go forward for circles, drawing from the hip. So imagine there's a pen sticking out of your knee and you're drawing a nice circle on the wall in line with your knee, okay? So away from the body, good. Controlling the abdominal movement, so I don't want you moving through the stomach area or the lower back area. It's literally coming from the hip. Pelvis stay strong. Relax your foot, no tension in the foot. Mine's just hanging there. For the crack and hold and then go in the opposite direction please and when you're going backwards feel the contraction of the glute happening so you're kind of going past your hip area to really get the glutes firing here okay well done massage in that hip socket something we don't do often enough we're always going forward and back and not kind of pivoting around the hip in 360 motion which is kind of important okay Keep it nice and lubricated and staying there, extending that top leg nice and long, rest your body down. And as I said before, placing that lower hand slightly in front of the shoulder area, okay? Hand facing down, rest the other hand on top of your leg, rest the head down. We're going to inhale to stay here, make sure your hips are level. On the exhale, lifting up towards your knee, reaching as close to your knee as you can go or further, and then coming back down. I want the abs, as I said before, doing the work and not the arm on the floor. So you're not pushing fully into the floor. The last little bit, you can start to use the arm. But let the abs engage and lift, and then you can use the arm from there, okay? To get that little bit deeper into that crunch. And lifting. Exhaling as you lift. Exhale. Good. Well done. Really, really nice one for the obliques. Good stuff. And we'll go for one more after this, please. And last one. Well done. Coming onto your front, onto all fours. Okay, we're gonna do cat cow. And then we're starting into the, the tougher stuff, okay? So I did on Tuesday, those that were with me on Tuesday class, I worked, normally what I do is I lead with the hips first to the pelvis. We're gonna work with the head and the pelvis together. So they're gonna move in unison, so the two of them are gonna to work together. So we're gonna take an inhale to stay, a nice neutral spine to begin. And on the exhale, we're gonna tuck the pelvis and the head comes down at the same time, pushing the middle of your back, so mid spine, towards the ceiling and really driving your hands into the mat. We're gonna inhale as we release both at the same time, head comes up, pelvis moves away, sticking that bum away, head comes up as you breathe in, so those lungs and legs expand. And then exhale, coming down, pelvis under, head under. Staying nice and strong to the knees and the hands, they do not move. Inhale, as we bring two, space, two, two spots away from each other, lengthening the abdominal region and looking up, lengthening the neck, and then tucking under as we exhale, using the abs to pull the pelvis in underneath you. 
and inhale, bringing them away, softening the spine, lengthening the front. Well done. And exhale, tucking. Really, really using those abs to bring you under and stay in this position, pushing into the mat a little bit deeper. And we're going for two more, please, of each. And then we're going to exhale as you tuck and really push into that mat to go further into that rounded back position. And then the last one. Well done. And then exhale. I want you to stay in this position, okay? So we're in the angry cat position, pushing into the mat, really bring the shoulder blades away from each other, okay? And what I want you to do is breathe into this position, which is quite difficult because everything is being compressed, okay? Your diaphragm, your abs, your lungs. So try and inhale through the nose. And exhale. And as you're doing this, you're kind of doing a soft tissue release on these muscles and, and abdominal organs, okay? Inhale. And exhale. Big breath into the nose. And exhale. So I'm staying in the angry cat position as I do this breathing. Do not move. Inhale. Using your abs to keep you here. Exhale. You should feel the abs really tightening up here, guys. And one more. Inhale. And as you exhale, release the lower back, mid-back, and the head comes up the last. Okay. From here, guys, I'm going to get you to just make sure that your hands are correctly under your, your shoulders and knees under your hips. Make sure there's nothing behind you because you're going to be lifting those legs back, okay? Take an inhale here, and on the exhale, I want you to extend that left leg nice and long and bring your toes towards you. I want you to feel the strength of that leg, so really driving the kneecap up towards the thigh and pushing the heel away, so you're getting a lovely lengthening at the back of the leg, okay? So really activating the tendons in the feet and stretching them out. When you do this, you'll feel a nice deep contraction in the glute as well, okay? From here, I want you to point your toes and just feel the difference to what's going on in the body, okay? So as you point those toes, you can feel certain muscles switching off. Lengthen them, you get a deeper state of contraction going into the quad muscles, the thigh, in front of the thigh, and the glutes definitely fire up more, okay? So we're gonna hold this position. I just want you to do that to feel what's happening, okay? And squeezing the glute. Try and bring your awareness to where your pelvis is at right now. The hips are level. Bring that belly button to spine. Make sure your leg isn't lifting so high that you can feel it in your lower back. If it is, bring it down a smidgen and just take the pressure off that lower back. We're holding for another five. So nice and strong. If that other hip is kicking out, just bring awareness to that and slightly come back down. Okay, bring that other knee back down onto the floor. Make sure that the knees are stacked under the hips before you go and lift the other leg. So extending that other leg with pointed toes and then bring them underneath you. Nice lengthening of the, lower, of the foot and the lower leg, okay? Again, bring awareness to your hips. I generally feel my right hip, the leg I've lifted, and then just come across to my left hip. And just make sure that they're on level planes, okay? Sometimes they can be off and what can happen is the leg has either gone too high or what's happening is one hip is kicking out, okay? If that's the case, bring your foot down to the floor, okay? Just get used to holding this position. Nice long spine, hips are level. And that's okay too, because the abs are still firing up to hold you in this position, okay? So if you need to drop the foot to the floor, but keep the activation in the leg, that's okay. And just working through this, arms stay strong, breathing, lengthening through the neck, the spine. Bring your awareness to your posture, which is really important. And I find with Pilates, as you go on through the weeks, the months, you definitely become more aware of your posture, whether you're sitting, standing, running, whatever it may be, it definitely brings your awareness to it more. And you definitely get stronger without realizing because you're using it every day. Okay, we're gonna go for the five, four, three, two, and lower that down. Okay, from there guys, we're going to take an inhale, and on the exhale, extending the left leg, the one we began with, and reaching that right arm away. Relax the other toes down to the floor, sorry, and reaching hand to hand facing inwards here. We're going to take an inhale. As you inhale, bring your hand and knee towards each other. Touch your knee with your hand. Hold it there. Staying here. Your center of gravity is definitely challenged here now, lads. So just holding this position. Take an inhale and then extending them away from each other. Inhale as you bring them under the body. 
Exhale as you reach your way. Inhale, we're pointing the toes for this one. And exhale, nice and relaxed through the foot. Not much tension held in the foot, so don't claw the toes too much, otherwise you'll cramp. The foot can point, but without too much tension going through the foot. Inhale, rounding, hold, hold. That arm, that standing arm is doing a lot of work. And if you're struggling, guys, at any stage, just place the other hand down and go into that long line with the leg and place the foot on the floor. We'll go for two more, please. One more. Hold. And reach. And place that leg down. Just give me a shout out before we do the other side, guys. It's the lock on into the lower back there. <coughs> and rest the head down. And then come back onto all fours. And we're going to do the other side, okay? So extending that other leg, right leg for me, and extending the left arm, okay? So opposite arm, opposite leg. Make sure you're not on the same side, which happens a lot of times. And holding here. We're going to inhale as you bring the hand and knee to each other. Place your hand on your knee. Keep that leg elevated and just holding it. Keeping that same uh, kind of station with the hips. Nice stability going on, strong through the arm, pushing into that mat. Don't let the chest cave down. Holding and then reaching away. Inhale as we bring hand and knee to each other. Touch and extend away. And reaching under. And away. Reaching under. Remember, bring awareness to your foot. Don't tense the toes too much, okay? As I said, you can point the foot without cramping. Just don't claw the toes as hard. Reaching under, hold. And extend away. Reaching under. Extend away, one more after this. Last one. Hold. Breathing. And extend away. And place your hand and knee down. Come into shelf stretch, please. Go wide with the legs and open up the hips a little bit. You'll need it for the next one. <laughs> We're gonna to come to standing now in a moment. So just coming onto your knees, and then tucking the toes and pushing up onto the floor, okay? Standing, please, come to the end of your mat. I'm gonna come onto the rug because I have more grip. So go with whatever you've got more grip, okay? And then from there, guys, bring in your left leg in front. Hope you can see me. If you can't. All right. So bring in your left leg in front of your right. Lower that back leg down, but not, not, not touching the floor, guys. Okay, but if any stage you need to rest that leg down, do so. From there, guys, we're going to lift and lower for 10, okay? Slowly, but not touching that back knee down on the floor, please. Control, inhale as you lift and lower. That front knee is in line with your ankle bones as you come down, okay? Focusing, squeezing the glutes. Make sure that the front knee as well is not gonna wobbling too much left and right. Three, two, and one. Coming back down to a lunge position, holding, and then we're gonna pulse for 10. Nine, not hitting that back knee off the floor, please keep it elevated. Four, three, two, one. Staying here, lower leg parallel to the mat. Hands behind the head. Inhale as you stay. Exhale, rotating towards that front leg. Okay, inhale as you come back to center. Exhale to rotate. Inhale back to center. Exhale to rotate. Hips stay forward. You're literally moving from this part of your stomach, a belly button area, okay? Inhale, exhale to rotate. Feel the ribs moving. Inhale, and exhale. As you breathe out, try and activate the abs a little bit more. Keeping that back leg up, guys. I know you're screaming at me now. Stop talking, okay? Just get it done. <laughs> and two more. One more. Back to center. 
Bring that leg forward. Shake it out. All right, everyone okay? <laughs> and swap legs, guys. So the other leg forward and the other leg back. Now, guys, before I start, because it's very hard to drop out of it once you're in, anyone that's struggling by the time they get to the rotations, bring that back leg down onto the floor and still work through the rotations, okay? So we're going to start. So if you can do the first two anyway, and then if you need to drop down, do you, okay? So starting in the lunge position, we're going to lower lift for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, and one. Holding and pulsing for 10, nine, eight. Squeeze the glute. Keep them active. Never on holidays, lads. And hold, hands behind the head. Drop that back knee only if you have to, no cheating. Inhale, exhale to rotate. Inhale to center. Exhale, rotate. Long through the neck. Inhale, center. Exhale, inhale, exhale, back to center, rotate, halfway, stay with me, I'm feeling the two guys, nearly there, over halfway, lads, come on, last two, last one, Back to center, place the hands down, and coming up to standing. Shaking out the legs, grab a sip of water if you need it, okay? Coming to the top of your mat. Okay, back onto the mat. We're gonna stand from the top, we're gonna take an inhale. On the exhale, bend the knees, place your hands down. Walking your hands forward, slowly, into a plank position. Holding this position, anyone that's in the air, kind of beginner, intermediate, do not do the next one, just hold the plank. Take an inhale here, and on the exhale, we're going to lift the left leg in line with our hip. Lower it down. Take an inhale, lifting the right one. Lower it down. Take an inhale, exhale, lift. Left and lower. Three more. Right and lower. Left and lower and right and lower. Coming down onto your elbows for a moment. Back into plank position. Nice long line, give your wrists a break. We're gonna take an inhale here. Again, beginners just hold the plank. Everybody else, take an inhale, exhale, bring your left hip down, bring it back. Right hip down, and back, and left. Back, and right, and left. Halfway for five, four, Three, two, and one. Place the hips down. And coming down onto the floor for a moment. Right. Place your head down. Rest it on your, on your, rest your forehead onto your hands, okay? Take an inhale here. And on the exhale, I want you to lift your right leg up. Holding it here. Feel both hips completely on the floor, level. Make sure that, that you're not lifting the other side to compensate. So try and relax that lower back. Once you bring it down a smidge and halfway, and then just pulse for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Place it down. Okay? Wiggle out your hips and get them level again before you do the other side. Take an inhale, and on the exhale, lifting that other leg. Make sure that that's doing the work and that you're not gripping too hard on the opposite side, okay? Take an inhale here and lower down halfway and pulse for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Place it down. Come back onto your hands. From here, guys, we're going to come onto our backs, please. <laughs> so just come into seated position. Take an inhale here, round the abdominals, and slowly, slowly release the hands. You need to place your hands to the back of the legs, and slowly come back onto the mat with your spine, resting down fully. Good. From here, take an inhale, 
And on the exhale, bring yourselves into imprint. So locking that lower back down onto the mat. Okay, I hope everyone's okay. Bring, I know the last one was quite tough. Bring the one, bring one leg to tabletop and then bring the other leg to meet it. Just place your hand on your stomach. To make sure that the belly isn't like pushing out too much. If it is, try and bring your knees closer to your stomach. Or if you need to place your feet down, do. Okay, that's okay. If you need to do that, place your feet down and lock your ankles and knees together for this next exercise, okay? From there, we're gonna take an inhale here. And on the exhale, we're gonna to go to the left side of the room with our legs, doing spinal rotations. Take an inhale here, holding this position. And on the exhale, drawing back to center. Inhale, exhale to the right. Holding the inhale, for an inhale here. And then exhale, rolling back through imprint. Your lower back connected with the mat. And then moving to the other side. Inhale, exhale, rolling through, imprint back to the middle. And then moving to the other side as you exhale. Inhale to stay, exhale to roll back to center. Inhale, stay, exhale, move. Moving on the exhale, guys, makes it easier. Inhale to stay and exhale. Good. And inhale, we'll go for two more after this one. Moving. Back to center as you exhale, inhale and exhale. One more, inhale and exhale. Sometimes I see people going very far with their legs, like nearly putting them on the floor. There's nothing to be really gained from that except serious spinal damage. <laughs> so don't go to extremes there, please. All right, keeping the legs up and tabletop, hands behind the head. Take an inhale here, and on the exhale, coming up into ab prep position, supporting your head with your hands. Bring the legs apart as they're together. Take an inhale, and on the exhale, toes towards you. We're going down with heel taps. So slowly bring in the heel as close as possible to the floor, and bring it back. If you're struggling, bring your knees closer to your stomach, and only go halfway down, okay? So there are always options to make it easier on people, okay? So as I said, bring your knees closer to your stomach if you're struggling. Otherwise, keep them in line with your hip and don't touch the floor. Only go halfway down. Keep moving, guys. Sorry, I talk a lot. Just want to make sure you're all okay. Okay. Stay with me. Nearly there. Two more. Last one. Rest your head down from here. Place your hands down. Bring your heels together and your toes away, okay? Making a diamond shape with your knees, okay? So you're opening the knees more. Take an inhale here, and on the exhale, I want you to imagine this wall at the base of your feet, and you're pushing against the wall with your feet. Go as long as you can go, so go straight if you can, and then bring them back. Bring them further towards your chest or your stomach area, come in along with your belly button, and then push away. It doesn't matter if you can't go the full way with the legs, but if you can, contract the thighs and then bring it back in, okay? If you can only go halfway, that's fine as well. The idea is that you don't lose connection with the lower back and the mat, okay? Please. Breathing as you inhale, exhale, coming toward, or going away as you exhale. Inhale, coming towards you, exhale, push away. One more. Really pushing the heels together, okay? Just bring your knees into your chest, because I'm nice, and hug yourself. I know you're laughing right now. <laughs> okay, you're doing really well. From there, guys, place uh, your left leg on the floor and extend your right leg long. Bring your left hand behind you. Right hand down very side. okay? We're gonna lower the right leg, pointing the toes. You're cramping toes towards you. And then on the exhale, coming up, touching your knee. Inhale to lower. Exhale to come up and touch your knee. If you're struggling with that, keep the knee bent. And exhale, you don't have to touch the floor. Okay, if you need to bend the knee, that's fine. You don't have to have a straight leg. Okay. Well done. We're meant to be doing 10 of these. I think it's three left. So if I'm doing the recording, make sure you're counting as well because sometimes I don't get it right because I'm talking so much. Last one. 
And place that foot down. Okay, from there we're going opposite side, left leg nice and long. Bend if you need to. And uh, inhale to stay, exhale, or inhale to lower, sorry, exhale to come up and touch that leg. Inhale to lower, exhale coming up. Well done. Inhale, exhale. Go as high as you can. Okay, there's no restrictions if you can go to your shin, if you can go to your foot, wow. Okay, I'd like to see that. Keep going. <laughs> Without a bent knee, okay, straight leg. Three to go. Two. One. Very good, place the feet down. Take an inhale, hands behind the head, feet in line with your hips, knees are wide. Take an inhale and on the exhale coming up and then rotating to the left side. Inhale, rotate back to center, staying up in your ab prep, Exhale to rotate to the right side. Inhale, center. Exhale, rotate. Inhale, center. Exhale, rotate. Halfway. Keep going, let's go for four more. Three, two, one. Lower down, one more ab exercise, okay. So from here guys, bring your knees back into tabletop position. Take your time, lower back is connected with the mat, hands down by your side. Take an inhale here, and on the exhale, just bring your knees towards you as close as you can. Lift the bum, and then place it back down slowly. If that's too much, just bring your knees forward, and then away, okay? You can get the bum up great. So lifting, slowly coming down. Inhale to stay, exhale to lift, slowly coming down. Inhale, exhale to lift, slowly coming down. We're going for four more. Three. Two. Last one, keeping that lower back in connection with the mat. Bring your knees into your chest, well done everybody. That was challenging for you, I think. I reckon. <laughs> okay, from there guys, we're gonna come on to single leg bridge actually, sorry. So stay on your backs, bring your feet in line with your hips, okay, hands down by your side. We're gonna take an inhale here, and on the exhale, drive your hips up towards the ceiling. From here, we're going to kind of eccentrically load the glutes. So we're going to inhale, exhale to lift one leg to tabletop. And you're going to come down slowly, one vertebra at a time with that leg lifted. Okay, once you've hit the mat, bring the foot back onto the floor. We're going to stay with one side. So if you start on your left, stay with your left. Lift, lift. You want to go straight with that leg. Perfect. Lower down. Slowly, once you've hit the mat with your pelvis, then place the foot down. Lift. Lift the leg, slowly coming down, one vertebra at a time, pelvis coming down together. Two more to go, please. Lift, pelvis level, lower down. Sometimes it's great just to feel the hip bones, just to feel what's happening here through the pelvis, make sure that they're equally coming down and coming up together. And really stroke, like when you're coming down, really fight that other hip from dropping, don't let it happen, okay? I'm gonna go the other side. So everybody feeling into this, the hip bones for this one. Lifting that leg, again, if you wanna go straight, slowly coming down, one vertebra at a time. Pelvis down, place the foot down. Lifting, lifting the leg, slowly coming down. Keeping the hips level. That right hip up for me, you definitely want it to come down first. Do not let it, okay? Slowly peeling down through the vertebrae. Last two. Last one. Slowly exhaling, coming down. Very good. Bring the feet together. So kind of pressing the inner line of the foot together. So uh, the big toe area and along the edge of the foot. And then let the knees kind of fall apart, okay? Let your body fall apart. <laughs> Take an inhale, bring your hands down by your side. Make sure there's nothing under your head. And then we're gonna lift the hips up off the mat, okay? Staying here. 
And what I want you to do is just breathing through it. Feel what's happening. Are you swaying from right to left? Squeezing the glutes and resting on the lower shoulder blades, not on your neck. So resting on the lower part of your shoulder blades. If there's any pain happening here in the lower back, come down a little bit, okay? Just breathing into it, really feeling the inner thigh muscles working, the pubic area, firing up the inner glutes, it firing up here, with the bottom part of your backside. Really active here. Pushing into the feet just to get a little bit more activation. Squeezing the feet together, and you'll definitely feel your bum tightening up there, holding. We're going to slowly bring our knees together, just kind of hip distance apart, and then bring them away again. Okay? Control the pelvis as you bring them close together, kind of hip distance apart again, and then bring them away. The feet don't change position too much. The knees move, legs come closer, feet get tighter together. They don't necessarily come onto the floor. They stay in that nice position touching each other, pressing into each other, and we're going for one more of these, please. And then coming back out. All the control, well done. Take an inhale here, and coming down slowly through your vertebrae, starting with the upper, down slowly to the lower point of your spine, releasing out your chest, pushing it towards the ceiling, and then bringing your knees into your chest. Well done. That's a really nice one. Okay, from here, guys, we'll come out onto our fronts. And we're going to go for some leg pull fronts <laughs> with a little twist here. Okay, so make sure the knees are stacked under your hips. We're going to take an inhale here. And on the exhale, we're going to lift our knees off the floor. Okay, holding here for another, I'm counting here on my watch, another 20 seconds. If you're struggling, come down with your knees, it's fine. Keeping your spine nice and flat. All right, not tucking the pelvis. And we have another 10 seconds. Well done. Keep it going. And this next, these next few exercises are quite challenging, okay? Just place the knees down for now. I want you to extend your right leg, nice and long, tucking the toes, staying in this nice line with the, the other leg, so keep it under your hips. Make sure your hands are under your shoulders. Take an inhale here, squeezing the glute of the back leg and draw the belly button to the spine and lifting that lower leg. Lower and lift. Lower and lift. Lower and lift. One more, lower and lift. Bring it down. From here guys, staying in this position, we're gonna inhale as you Stay here, exhale to bring the leg up, come down to a push-up position and bring it back down. As you come up, your foot comes back down. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, foot down. Maybe there. Good. Three more. Good. Bring that leg down, please. And we're gonna go with the other side, but we start with two legs to begin, okay? Level, level spine, please, so nice flat back to begin. Draw that belly button to spine before you lift. Take an inhale here, and on the exhale, lifting up. I'm gonna get 15 seconds for beginners and they can take a rest. Everybody else, you're gonna go for 30. Okay, so when I show 15, so you can come out in two seconds, one second, beginners down, take a moment, come into shell stretch. Everybody else, it's a bitch because you know you're only halfway, 10 seconds. Breathing, three, two, one, coming down. Extending the leg you haven't extended already. <laughs> okay, and from here guys, we're gonna take an inhale, make sure you're nice and level here with the pelvis. Make sure your knee is under your hip. Take an inhale here and exhale, lifting that lower leg. Lower, as you breathe in, exhale to lift. Lower, and lift. Lower, and lift. Lower, last one, and lift. 
Very good, rest that knee down. Take an inhale here, exhale, lifting that leg, lowering down towards the floor, and coming back up, touching down with your foot, and lower. Well done. Knees go wider with your hands do. My hands are sitting on my mat, so I'm gonna bring mine wider. Keep going. Two more. One more. Well done. Coming down into shell stretch, please. We're nearly finished, guys. That's the hardest bit kind of done. We have a couple of exercises, not too bad. Okay, but that's the worst of it over, I promise. Okay, so coming onto your side, lying on your right side. Nice long line with the body. Hope you can all see me. Okay, so nice long line with the body. And we're gonna start with just circles to begin. So lifting, lifting, sorry, lifting through the waist first, okay? So like I said to you at the start of class, keeping that side active. Just place your hand under there and feel it when it's relaxed and then activate it. That's what we need, okay? Uh, leg in line with your hip, resting your head down and supporting yourself with that upper arm just so you don't fall and flatten your face. So we're gonna go for circles forward. Go small to begin and just feel what's happening here through the pelvis, okay? If you feel that you can control the movement here, like take your hand away, and see if you're gonna fall flat on your face. If you are, it means go smaller with your circles, if there is any smaller. <laughs> if not, okay, just really mind yourself. And hold, and then we're gonna go back the other way for 10, nine. And if you feel that you're very strong, go bigger with your circles, okay? Let's see what happens. <laughs> Again, bring the hand away. And challenge yourself and not feeding into that lower back. Okay. And one. Bring the legs together, bent knees, feet under your backside. And again, make sure the hips are level. Okay. And we're going to open the top leg and lower it for 10, 9. You want to open that hand you can. 7. Just open the chest. 6, 5. Four, three, two, and one. Elevate that leg, and we're gonna open it and close it, bringing the whole leg up and down for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Extend the leg, point the toes, and we're gonna pulse for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and lower. Coming up to seated, we'll do the other side now in a moment. Bringing your left leg in front of you, right leg behind, and just reaching over into mermaid stretch. Coming down and then over. We'll do the other side now. Just find that this is a lovely stretch after the other one. Really opening up through this side, okay? The one you're reaching over with. Don't let the hips come forward. Lengthen. And then lie onto your other side. And coming down. Okay, so again, activate the lower waist, lifting that leg. Now we're going circles forward for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. And back for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. You'll find that you've got more stability on one side than the other. My definitely will be a little bit weaker on this side. We are not, even though I'm righty, but we'll trying to stabilize through your left side is quite difficult. And holding here and then bring your knees together. Feet under your back side. Try not to let the belly push forward. Draw it under you. Activate the stomach here, okay? So not pushing the chest forward. I want you to tuck your pelvis a little bit and lifting under, under the lower waist, okay? 
Opening that knee away from the lower knee for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Lifting that leg and lifting and lowering for 10. As it is in that clam position, bent knee. Keep going. And 5. Four, three, two, and one. Straighten that leg. Line your hip and pulsing for ten. Nine. Rest your head down. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Rest it down. Smack your bum bum. Next exercise, we're going to do a little bit of back extension work and then finish with some swimming for Paj because he likes it. Okay. And so nice long line with your body. We're reaching the arms forward. And those shoulder distance are a little bit wider. If you want to bring your feet slightly apart, that's fine also. Looking down at your mat, take an inhale here. And on the exhale, resting your head down, sorry. And on the exhale, lifting your arms and legs together. Holding here. And then coming down slowly. Inhale to stay. Exhale, contract the thigh muscles before you lift. Lift your knees off the floor, squeeze the glutes, and coming up slowly. Inhale to stay here, and exhale to come down slowly. Good. Inhale, exhale, squeeze the glutes, activate the thighs, and lifting up slowly. Inhale to stay, exhale to lower. And inhale, exhale, and lifting. Inhale to stay, exhale to lower. One more please, inhale, exhale, squeeze the bum. And lifting up. Bring your left arm and your right leg down to the floor. Pushing down through your hand with that left arm, reaching higher with your body. Lifting higher with that opposite leg, opposite arm. And then place, or place that other hand down and lift the other one up. And then lift the other leg up and place the other one down. Pushing through that other hand. Go higher. Lifting higher through the leg if you can. Without damaging your back. So if you feel any tightness in the lower back, don't go so high. Pushing through the hand. And place it down. Rest your head down. Breathing in here. And on the exhale, we're going to lift our legs and arms together. Reaching nice and long. Start to move the opposite arm, opposite leg. Come on, this is the last exercise, so stay with me. And swimming like the clappers. Good women, good men. <laughs> You're doing great. You can go have a drink after this, or a cup of tea, whatever it is. You've earned it. Keep going. For five, four, three, two, one. Rest the body down. Well done. Feel that heart beating in your head. <laughs> that one always seems to get my heart rate up. Okay, so coming back onto your knees. And we'll just do a bit of stretching. I'll come facing the camera. So bring your right knee in underneath you. And bring the sole of the foot towards your thigh if you can. Okay? And then make sure you've got room. Not like me. On the door. And then coming down towards the floor with your hands or your elbows, or resting your head fully down, okay? If that's too much, be careful not to stay down. If you can do it, everybody else, stay down, as I said, and if you can't do that, bring your knee to opposite shoulder. Lying on your back, okay? It gets the same muscles. I'm holding that for another 10. Well done. And then slowly coming out of that, just mind your bodies as you do. Mind you don't twist your knee. And then we're going to do the other side. So bring the other knee underneath you. Make sure the sole of the foot is kind of facing onto the hip or thigh area. And then slowly coming down, using your hands to gauge how much pressure you want to put into that hip. And once you feel comfortable and you want to go lower, do again, just be careful of your knee. And then once you feel comfortable here, you can come down lower and if you can, rest your head down onto the mat. And breathing through it. Keep going. 
and holding for five, four, three, two, and one. Come into seated position, please. Actually, we actually did mermaid on the other side, didn't we now? So bring your other leg in front, the one you didn't do, we'll do that before we move on. So it was my left leg the other time, so now I have my right leg in front. And make sure that the hips are some way in line, if you know what I mean. <laughs> and then reaching over your head, away from the leg that's in front. You get a lovely stretch along your side. Breathing into it, don't hold your breath. If you want to rest your hand on your head, that's okay also. Same. If you find it's too much to hold your arm in the air if you're struggling, place your hand there. And then coming back. From there, keep your right leg where it is at the one at the front, and then extend the other leg out nice and long, okay? Pushing that knee away if you can. Lengthening up through the abs and then reaching down towards the foot. Okay. People always, like a lot of people that I talk to about Pilates, they're like, I'm like saying, I, always, I love it anyway, my old phrase, Pilates, but like I'm not flexible enough to do Pilates, but uh, you're never going to get flexible if you don't do it, so and generally when you're, you're weak in an area, it's what you need most, so okay, swap over, um, like I definitely wouldn't be a flexible person at all at all, never have been really, well I was when I was younger. But uh, years of running have not helped this body, so, but it's never too late. <laughs> and reaching down towards your toes, never too late. And the best way to get flexible is through this kind of movement, dynamic movement. So, um, yoga and Pilates would be really, really good. And you should feel yourself getting a little bit better every couple of weeks. It's not going to happen overnight. Okay, and then from there, guys, coming onto your knees. If you need to leave the class, that's fine. Don't feel like you're under pressure because we are hitting to 7 o'clock now. So come onto your knees. And from here, guys, I just want you to release your pelvis. So stick the bum away. Take an inhale here. And on the exhale, I want you to tuck your pelvis in underneath you, squeezing the glutes a little bit, okay? Nice long line from your knee all the way to the crown of your head, okay? And holding here. Take an inhale as you release your pelvis. So stick your bum away. Lengthen through the abs. Inhale. And then exhale. Bring your bum underneath your hips. And breathing out. Squeeze the bum. Inhale. Release the glutes. So soften the bum bum. Bring the chest forward. Open the rib cage. Round the lower back. And then coming forward. Squeeze the glutes. Tuck the pelvis. And we'll go for two more, inhale, and exhale. One more, inhale, hips come forward, exhale, hips come back. From there, staying on your knees, please. Staying here, take an inhale, exhale, slowly walking down your right leg, and reaching one arm over your head, please. Coming back up, inhale, exhale to move to the other side. You need to rest your hand on the floor, that's fine. Inhale, back up to center. Just mind your back as you're coming up. If you need to support yourself on the way back up, do, or just even walk your fingers back up your legs slowly, like pushing up with your hand. So just be mindful that you're not feeding into your lower back as you come back up. Okay, use your stomach muscles to pull up. Last one. And back to center, coming down onto the floor, reaching forward into shell stretch, inhale. Staying for an exhale, breathing in and out. Last one, breathe in. And as you go out, just bring your hands along the floor towards your body, keep them on the floor. Your spine is going to start to round as you come back towards the mouth, or towards the knees with your hands, slowly, 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 round the spine, stacking your spine, then one vertebra at a time, place your hands onto your thighs, and coming back up to seated. Inhale to reach your hands towards the ceiling, exhale, go wide, two more, inhale, reach, exhale, go wide, 
One more, inhale, reach. If anyone struggles with sitting on their heels, have a pillow handy so you can place it under your bum and just take the pressure off, okay? Well done, everybody. Great class. Now I'm just gonna unmute you all. Hope you enjoyed. Uh